Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am just in the mood to sit and chat with you guys for a little bit, so while I am doing that, I am going to show you the food that I froze for my mother. Do you know I looked back and it has been almost four weeks since I froze any food for my mother? She still has a little bit left. With all the food that I freeze for her, plus with different things that she might eat in between, like, you know, of course I cook meat every day, so sometimes she'll just have some meat and she'll say, you know, I just would like, you know, something different that's not on her frozen food so every now and then I make her something else but for the most part this fixing food to freeze has worked so nicely that we are just going to continue doing that so ugh, I have a whole tray here full look at all that stuff I didn't cook any meat for her because I do cook meat every day, so it's easy for me to just say, you know, would you like some bacon, Mom? Or would you like some Hamburg, Mom? So, but I still will be cooking meat and freezing for her, especially for when I go on my trip. So I will be doing that probably next weekend. But what I did for her so far today, because she was out of pretty much everything, she has rice pilaf that I add veggies to, some mixed veggies, four servings of that. I know I'm asked by several of you, you know, does it save good in these little baggies? And I put all these bags into other bags. I just put them in there to separate the servings. And then she has her spaghetti three of those and I'm often asked how do you reheat the spaghetti and you can just uh, put it on a plate with sauce and heat it in the microwave or you can boil some water and dump it in and let it boil for just a couple minutes you know right from frozen it'll boil to hot and then somebody said they just take hot water and pour it over the spaghetti and they heat it that way and then she has a three packages of ziti pasta she loves pasta then so she can make her own mixed meals like either a soup or a stew or just put things on her plate she loves varieties so she has two bags of mashed potatoes and i made instant this time because i had just recently bought a box of, of instant potatoes so i want to use those up and then she has i believe three bags of boiled potatoes that I did not peel, just boiled. So if she wants to make like a beef stew or something, she can add some potatoes already cooked along with carrots already cooked. Carrots and carrots and carrots, fresh carrots that I cut up and cooked. Turnip, first time I do turnip for her. I mean, certainly not the first time I cook turnip, but since I've been doing this, I haven't cooked turnip. These are those little purple top turnips. I just peeled them, cut them, boil them for like 10 minutes. Oh, I love the smell of turnip. So she has three bags of that. Four. There's another one there. And squash. I did another buttercup squash for her. So she has three packages of squash. So that's going to last her quite a while. Like I said, I will be... Um, doing meat and stuff for her but like I usually have like a little rotisserie chicken in the fridge so she can eat off that all she wants and I always have ground beef and roast beef that I can slice um, when I say roast beef I mean like a, a roast of beef that I just slice thin and cook in butter and when I do buy deli meats she eats that too and she still has other things in the freezer you know before I started eating this way there was a sale on 32 ounce, two pound bags of frozen veggies. And I bought, I think it was 20 of them. And now I'm not eating veggies. So she has a list of all the frozen veggies that we have in the fridge too, along with canned goods. So this is not all that's on her list. So I really like doing this and it just, it's very, very helpful. It is so nice to just be able to go and grab a bag of this or that. I just wish that I could have a refrigerator where the freezer was like the size of the refrigerator and that my refrigerator was just little, just to hold some cream and butter. That's all I need. That would be cool. So what else? Um, yeah, I get asked, every time I put a video up like this, I get asked about how do you reheat those things. And what I try to tell people is 
If it's frozen, treat it like a frozen dinner and just put it in a plate, maybe cover it with some saran wrap or plastic wrap or something and just heat it like you would a frozen dinner, which is what? I don't know, eight, ten minutes? I don't even know because I never buy frozen dinners. Or if it's thawed, just treat it like leftovers out of the fridge and heat them up any old way that you would heat up leftovers. But I do know and I'm finding out more and more that there are many people who just do not eat leftovers. You know, every time I get asked a question, I wonder like, well, what do they normally do? And I find out they normally do not do. So <laughs> I love all the questions and I am forever now trying to think in advance and say, now remember, not everybody does it this way, especially in other countries. There's people that ask me questions that, like for instance, one time when I did a ride along with me and I stopped for a school bus, I knew somebody was going to ask and say, did you have to stop for that? Or, and somebody did. They said, did you have to stop for the bus or was there a stoplight or something? And I said, no, we have to stop for the bus. The bus has a stop sign and red lights and wherever they were from they said no we don't we don't have that here you know it's interesting to know what we have and what others don't have so that's it for tonight just a little quickie I just wanted to chat with you guys and let you know that yes I am still indeed doing the freezing but I just haven't had to do it because it lasted all that time I think I made like once I made some spaghetti for my mother because she was out and once I made some mashed potatoes because she was out um, other than that she's been eating from the freezing and enjoying that. I have not been doing concoctions. I have decided I have no interest in cooking anything sweet. The smell of the sweetness is just, I just don't want that in my life right now. It's not that it really makes me crave, but it's like, I just don't know. I just don't like to smell it. I rather smell meat cooking in butter. That's what I want to smell. So I do buy her still some sweets. Like right now she has some frozen cookies. I bought a pound cake at Walmart not too long ago and I have that all sliced and all individually frozen and you know so she still gets those things you just uh, don't see it because I freeze it right when I get home so she's got an apple pie cut up and frozen so she's good and I don't touch any of it I did not even put a morsel of rice in my mouth tonight no tasting at all it's like I'm petrified it's like I don't want to take a morsel of rice that is going to make me like want to crave something you know when you really stop to think of it a little teeny tiny pill can have a big effect on our body so so can a grain of rice I think I don't know it can with me so I know I'm probably exaggerating is that it called exaggerating if you're under exaggerating <laughs> you know what I mean uh, I'm sure a grain of rice probably would do nothing for me but mentally I don't need it I don't need to hang on to habits like that and sometimes a grain of rice well will turn into oh let me eat that noodle too I think noodles a funny word <laughs> You know, and then I'm like licking mashed potatoes off the spoon. Don't want to do any of that. So that's it. I just wanted to chat with you guys. And now I did. And now I will say good night and goodbye. And I will catch you later. I never say I'll catch you later. I don't know why I throw things in like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.